Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another Gala Games price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Gala Games chart which at the time of this recording is holding below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance. We have also continued to obey the ADO12 structures where we had been seeing a bit of a breakdown to the lower side in the formation of these wave 2 in a move that managed to get into the minimum retracement area which lies between the 0.03 3954 dollar mark and the 0.02581 dollar mark and having managed to get into the minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 I now believe that we have bottomed out in the formation of that wave 2 and whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of a massive run up to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 and all this is playing out after we fully picked in the formation of these larger edu wave count 1 to the upper side after seeing the formation of these 5 wave structure to the upper side of this edu wave structure right here in here having the wave 5 giving us a picket around the 0.06318 dollar mark and also completing the formation of that first wave to the upper side and before I get further into the technical analysis to give you the short term scenarios and also sketch out my target areas to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to first sketch out a target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that now gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave three at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.1074 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that wave three to the upper side to do and because of the impulsive nature in the formation of this wave three I'm also expecting to see a five wave structure in formation within the formation of that wave three having the wave five fully maximized our target areas and also giving us the high for that with 3 to the upper side and it is this ADO12 structure which is a micro ADO12 count within the formation of that with 3 that I'm expecting to give me the short term scenarios here on the Gala Games chart and I believe that is better seen here on the one hour chart. So jumping to the one hour chart for further analysis and to give you the short term scenarios you can see that after seeing our low in the formation of this wave 2 we started this massive run up to the upper side of being the ADO12 structures where you can see that I have this ADO12 structure in red having that as the first wave then we have seen a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that managed to get into the minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 and having seen the low for that second wave whatever we expected next was the start of an impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 before we can expect our wave 4 then continue gearing up in the formation of that wave 5 to the upper side to fully maximize our target areas in the formation of that larger ADO wave count 3 to the upper side and now my primary scenario is that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and because of the impulsive nature in the formation of this wave 3 I'm also expecting to see another 5 wave structure in formation within the formation of that wave 3 where you can see that I have this ADO wave structure in yellow which is a micro ADO wave count within the formation of that wave 3 where we have now picked in the formation of that first wave and now we are retracing in the formation of this wave 2 to the lower side and in my previous video yesterday I gave you two possible scenarios that could be playing out here on the Gala Games chart and the first one was that whatever we are seeing is the formation of this wave 3 to the upper side and we are seeing a corrective that is a 5 wave structure in formation within the formation of this wave 3 where we might have now picked in the formation of that first wave and we are now retracing in the formation of this wave 2 and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 I was able to come up with a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave 2 between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.78 which is a target area that we have now fully maximized and at some point yesterday we managed to lose the fib level 0 0.78 and I said to you in my previous videos that the moment we lose our yellow target area down here and also lose the fib level 0 0.78 then that will be putting a major challenge on the formation of this ADO12 structure that I have right here and the alternative scenario is now what is being obeyed and I said to you in my previous videos that the alternative scenario is that 
After seeing our law in the formation of this wave 2, we saw that as the first wave to the upper side, then we saw a corrective structure in the formation of that wave 2, then a wave 3, then we saw a corrective structure in the formation of that wave 4, then continued gearing up in the formation of that wave 5 in a move that gave us a peak at around the 0.05125 dollar mark. And having seen the formation of these 5 wave structure to the upper side of this ADO12 structure right here in, in white, that is the alternative scenario, having the wave 5 fully completing the formation of a larger ADO 12 count 1 to the upper side so we can have that as a larger ADO 12 count 1 and I can also remove this ADO 12 structure right here in red where we can term that as the first wave and whatever we are seeing at the moment is now a corrective structure in the formation of that wave 2 and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 that now gives me a new target area in the formation of that wave 2 between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.78 and I can mark that target area here on the charts like that which is a target area that lies between the 0 0.04058 dollar mark and the 0 0.03469 dollar mark and it is within this white target area that I'm expecting to see the low for this higher ADO 12 count 2 so I now believe that whatever we are seeing is still a corrective structure in the formation of that wave 2 to give us a low within this white target area which lies between the 0 0.04071 dollar mark and the 0 0.03494 dollar mark and you can see at the time of this recording we have managed to get into this white target area which is the minimum that I'm expecting this second wave to the lower side to do and there are high chances that since we have managed to get into the minimum retracement area we might have now bottomed out in the formation of that wave too and very soon we might start gearing up in what could be the start of an impulsive wave to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 to the upper side and for that move to also play out we need to manage to hold above the 20 day MAs both on the 1 hour chart and also on the 4 hour chart so that we can have the support that we need for us to continue gearing up and also manage to break above our key area of resistance at around the 0 0.04336 dollar mark and the moment we manage to break above that key area of resistance then I'll be watching for a successful retail before we can continue gearing up continue unlocking prices and also see a break above the wave one high which lies at around the 0 0.05095 dollar mark and the moment you manage to break above that wave one high then that would be enough confirmation that we are back in the formation of this wave three to the upper side and assuming that gala games is not going to give us one more leg down within this white target area in the formation of this wave two we can sketch out a target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave three by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave and that now gives me a minimum target area in the formation of that wave three at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0 0.0719 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i'll be expecting gala games to do in the formation of that wave three but in case the breakdown continues then there are high chances that we might see one more leg down within this white target area and once the low for that second wave is in within this uh, white target area then we can expect our reversal to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 so the key moves that we need to continue watching over here in case the breakdown continues is that we need to continue holding within this white target area for us to still say that whatever we are seeing is a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 before we can continue gearing up in the formation of this wave three to the upper side and that is what i'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and getting back to the four hour chart so that we can take a look at the indicators on the rsi we are trading at around the 41 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices in case the reversal in the formation of that wave three continues but in case the breakdown continues that movement will still be supported on the rsi also taking a look at the mark we have been able to print a bearish cross suggesting that lower prices are coming our way but you can see we are seeing a bit of a decrease in the selling momentum suggesting that soon we might be able to print a bullish cross so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated